to celebrate the graduation of our class of 2022 and I'm so excited and humbled that we're able to offer our young people this opportunity. Nothing is, is as important as a high school diploma or earning your GED. So congratulations to all of our graduates and their families and kudos to the staff that put so much work into providing these young people with a quality education. It's important for us to hold these graduations because it allows the kids with opportunities to be successful. You know, today was a great day. When you see that number of youth um, graduating and receiving their diploma or their GED, it gives them hope. Um, those kids have gone through a lot in their lives and to see them persevere um, and become resilient young people, it just brings about that good feeling. It meets the mission that we set out to do each and every day here at the Department of Juvenile Justice. So one thing we're particularly pleased with at this graduation ceremony is that we have graduates from 17 different facilities around the state. We have 28 facilities total with our RYDCs, YDCs, and ETCs. So the fact that we have representatives from 17 different facilities says to me that our programs are working all across the state. I think that's due to the staff, uh, the great work that they do with the kids, and of course the hard work of the students. I was glad to hear of all of the opportunities for education now for young people who find themselves in the system. Um, I think as a board member, it's just a reinforcement that we're moving in the right direction, that the policies that are in place are facilitating practices and, you know, hopefulness. Son to mother, well, mom, I tell you, Life for me ain't been no crystal stick. It has texts in it, and splinters, and boards torn up, and places with no carpet on the floor, bed. But all the time, mama, I've been climbing on to Clad Valley Victorian, and reaching landings, high school graduate, and turning corners, class of 2022. Keep climbing. Thank you. It was rough at first, but he wanted to make me proud. He wanted to graduate, and that was his big thing. He wanted to graduate. So he stressed it from day one. He wanted to graduate. He was going to do it. He was going to do it, and he did it. So I'm very proud of him.